One of the issues uh, around the major uh, OEMs and NEPs uh, press conferences at the start of this week has been around uh, how they can uh, support uh, open systems, uh, low-cost platforms uh, in the network. Um, and uh, we're joined here now in the Contron booth uh, to talk a little bit about how this company uh, can help them do that. Um, Sven, just give us uh, a brief background on Contron and, and where you are in the communications market. Okay, sure. Um, Contron is an embedded uh, market leader for embedded computing um, in the uh, telecom market as well in other industries like uh, military and medical. Um, we've been uh, focusing on uh, telecom-specific products such as ATC and Caragrid Rockmon Server um, since 2005, um, primarily for ATCA, and in the past it was Compact PCI. So we providing commercial off-the-shelf hardware components and platforms to help uh, the major uh, Tier 1 and Tier 2 telecom equipment manufacturers to accelerate their time to market. Okay, and ATCA is uh, Advanced Telecom Comuti Computing Architecture, is that correct? Uh, that's correct. So it's primarily created around a open uh, standard uh, from the hardware perspective to provide uh, 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 components and systems which are uh, specified within an or a PICMIC organization uh, so you can create a, a platform on a, on a short uh, turnaround t time and uh, get to market faster. And the, the OEMs and the NEPs, are what, what, they come to you and they, they, uh, they use your embedded systems in their systems? Is that, is that your business model? Yeah, so uh, we're talking about the, the economic downturn uh, and all the major telecom equipment manufacturers need to refocus and very, their key focus is the application. They don't need to or want to get involved in all the hardware components and uh, uh, build it from scratch. So it makes absolutely economic sense to use available components such as uh, general purpose pr processor blades or Kerrigate Rack Monster to build a platform, a, a telco platform, and so they can really focus on their core competency and that's the application. Okay, and uh, you just launched a product uh, on Monday. I don't know if there's much you can tell us about that, but uh, you tell us what you can tell us about that. Uh, okay, so we primarily we are following the, the Intel uh, strategy in terms of the next generation compute plates. Um, we have a very close relationship and uh, come, uh, you know, are in the process of uh, uh, getting uh, the next generation uh, compute plate uh, into the works. Um, it's a much more performing platform, uh, created ideally for 10 gigabit Ethernet uh, performance as well for, uh, for example, packet uh, processing. But on the, on the other hand, we also have another a smaller scale, micro TC or, or AMC, which is also ideally to, to handle a 10 gigabit Ethernet. While we're moving towards a 40 gig backplane or 40 gig uh, technology in ATCA, um, these type of components are more and more available in the market, and we are one of the first ones launching this product. And what drives the need for these uh, components? Is it the, the amount of, uh, of traffic and uh, volume and the control plane that operators are looking at? Is that what's driving the need for those kind of scales and volumes you were talking about? Yeah, so it's primarily the performance, the performance increase. Um, if you look at, you know, uh, uh, streaming video, you know, IPTV or mobile TV, you need uh, a high compute uh, uh, platform to, to be able to meet the demand. Um, and um, the temps basically thinking ahead five to ten years and they want to make sure they, they, they have enough uh, horsepower in, in the platform to sustain this demand um, without uh, changing the uh, compute plate within the, every, every, every second year. So that's uh, the direction, that's why it's, uh, it's a good, good, uh, good platform as well or, or, or good direction to take. And um, uh, the other demand is basically uh, increase of, uh, of uh, a network processing or, you know, and storage, for an example, as well. And how much of this uh, f for your business is driven by the operators themselves? Uh, do, you, do, you, do you speak to them directly at, about your strategies or is it or tends to be through the, 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 uh, the Thames for you? Uh, it's pr it's prim primarily through the Thames, um, but the operator, they, ha they have a, a very... Um, very uh, close interest in using uh, commercial off the shelf components as well. For them, the, operation, the operating cost will, is, is going down that way as well. Uh, just imagine if you need to, to replace a full carrier grid rack mount server versus replacing it with an ATC ABA, where it's a significant time differences by, by uh, reconfiguring it. So for them, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, uh, it, the maintenance windows are basically <coughs> been used more sufficient. 
um, by, uh, by plugging in and, and removing a, a blade versus reconfiguring the whole, whole rack with a, a new configuration. Okay, thank you.